Assalamualaikum and my name, uh, hello, my name is uh, Muhammad Syaruddin Dumbano. Today, I will be presenting uh, about uh, chapter two, basic cost management concepts. Okay, and the first one we will talk about uh, is a uh, material cost. There are two, uh, direct material cost and indirect material cost. Direct material costs are the cost of materials that are known to have been used in making and selling a product or even providing a service. For example, like woods used in the furniture uh, manufacturer. So for indirect material cost, uh, indirect material cost is not directly traceable and quantifiable to the product. For example, like clean supplies, disposable safety equipment and disposable tools. Labor costs, uh, they also have two uh, direct labor costs and indirect labor costs. Direct labor costs are the specific costs of the workforce used to make a product or provide a service. Uh, example, direct uh, example, uh, like uh, direct labor costs, like a carpenter who makes tables. For indirect labor costs, uh, indirect labor costs paid to labor to that not directly involved in the production of the product. For example, like uh, supervisor and many uh, materials management staffs. Expenses uh, for their expenses, uh, those expenses that have been incurred in full as a direct consequence of making a product or providing a service or running a department. For example, like patent costs and royalty for uh, indirect expenses uh, that incurred for the whole production and not divisible. Examples like uh, electricity, insurance, and depreciation. Uh, so for the prime cost, there are three uh, direct material, direct labor, and direct expenses. Direct material cost uh, is directly traceable and quantifiable to the product. The raw materials that are converted into the finished product, for example, of furniture manufacturer, the wood used to build table is a direct material. And for direct labor, direct labor cost paid uh, to labor that directly involved in the production of the product. The labor who convert the raw materials uh, into the finished product. Example, like labor's cost who cut the wood and assemble uh, the table. And uh, Last one is the expenses, expenses that are really associated uh, with products such as uh, patent costs. Uh. Manufacturing overhead, uh, there are three indirect materials, indirect labor and indirect expenses. Uh, so indirect uh, for indirect materials, uh, indirect material cost is not directly traceable and quantifiable to the product. The raw materials used in the production that are difficult, uh, difficult or not cost effective to trace, such as a stationary consumable supplies and spare part for machine. Uh, and their labor costs uh, paid to labor that not directly involved in the production of the product, such as the keeper. Uh, cost of labor, uh, labor in the factory for persons uh, not directly producing the product, such as uh, janitor and supervisor. Uh, such as salaries of factory supervision and office staff that do not directly involve in production of the final product. Uh, indirect labor costs are paid to labor that not directly involve in the production of the product, such as uh, maintenance, for example, uh, rent, rates, and depreciation that do not have uh, instant relationships uh, with manufacturing process. Okay, uh, for fixed and variable costs. Fixed costs uh, remain unchanged regardless of the production volume. Fixed costs per unit will reduce when the production volume increases. Fixed costs remain constant over wide range of activity for a specific uh, time period. Uh, example, uh, like uh, supervisor salaries, manager salaries, and monthly rental expenses. For variable cost, change cost is direct proportional to the change in the level of activity. 
Total variable cost change when activity change. Variable cost varies direct proportion to the production volume or level of activity. Examples like commissions, raw materials, and production supplies. So the last one uh, is a uh, mixed cost. Sometimes mixed costs are called semi viral cost, a uh, variable cost, and sem or semi fixed cost. Mixed costs have both a uh, variable cost element and a fixed cost element in a single value or amount. Um, mixed cost change in total but not direct proportionately. Uh, proportionately, we change in the activity level. Example, like utilities, including electricity, water, and natural gas. So that's all for me. Uh, thank you so much.